A man came over the hill the other day. I was walking along a road. He stopped and asked to have a discussion with me. I was happy to sit upon the rock and pause for a moment. It was warm where I was at the time. He said that he had heard about how strong, personal, opinionated minds live with great difficulty versus flexible, clear, impersonal minds open to all possibilities with no difficulty. It's true, I said, when people have too strong of a mind, it's difficult to see salvation or transcendence from where we are in this lifetime. A strong, untrained mind cannot hear the path. It's very hard to see the path. First, you have to open your heart and your mind to possibilities to hear this path. How can you continue the path, he said. Traditional methods do not allow us to see the path sometimes, but when you give ear carefully, listening carefully, then you can change your mind. And when you change your mind, you will change your life. If we listen every day, then every day can be like a New Year's Day. And then we can live happily without suffering about anything. But how can we satisfy our life, he said. Every day we have to eat to satisfy our hunger. But by eating for our bodies, we cannot balance our mind. For 20 or 30 years, a person might search about his life, trying to understand what is going on in his mind. They might be thinking, how can I find any peace? How can I have happiness? How can we change our mind this year? Well, how can we change, he said. If we follow traditional methods. We must remember that we cannot find the path by reasoning alone. There are a lot of people who ask me, how can I find this path? How can I achieve my objective? They don't know what to say. I can very easily show the right path. It's not difficult, but it can be shown to you, but to change, you must walk it yourself. Otherwise, you cannot get to your destination. Do people criticize you for talking like this? If someone wants to criticize me, they can do it, but they must come in front of me. If a person wants to find the truth, he can search around the world, but finally he will come here to this path and run into it. If something is a lie, then we can neglect it, but if it is a truth, we cannot neglect it, and criticizing it does not make it go away, because it is the truth. But someone who knows the spiritual path should come here and talk with me and test it for themselves. There's some books and some suttas. They never said that this was the truth. That's right. By talking, we can understand it is the truth or not. But we have to watch it also with our minds to actually know it. 
we are willing to search material things. But by searching material things, we cannot find the truth. But some people only want material things in this life, and that's okay. But we have to investigate our minds to see how the suffering actually works to actually change. A lot of rich people, you know, they might want to find the reality because they want satisfaction, because even though they are rich, they cannot find satisfaction. So they are going to go searching by using material things they are going to find they cannot find the truth. Rich people will seek, will talk, but they do not take the time to investigate much. They only want a good life. We don't like frustration, we human beings. We don't like unhappiness and suffering, and we don't want to give up our material things. Someone can face any problem with a strong and balanced mind, but first they must build up strength. We need to learn the Ratana Sutta, because it's important for any person to learn that sutta to be their guide. If we have patience, we can overcome a lot of disturbances and we can balance mind and observe what is essential. Well, then we can stop reacting and start responding and life begins to change. How can we collect material things? How should we share them? How can we earn money by using our hands and our mind in the right way? Not by hurting others for money. By doing good jobs. That's how we can earn money to support our life. What, what is your idea to earn money and spend life? Money is not a problem. Only when we decide to cling to the money and worry about it, that it becomes a problem. Now it is a time for you to walk. And just ponder what's been said so far. See what you think about your life and listen again to the Buddhist suttas as much as you can. <laughs>